Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. This uh, quote is by uh, Alberta Ferretti. I start with the idea that nothing is impossible and everything can be done in the end. There are a lot of numbers for you out here, folks. You get some heavy divergence out here in a huge way. Um, what do we have? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow finish up 20, NASDAQ up 20, S&P's up 7.5, gold contract up $6.80, traded at 1,193 an ounce, silver up 6 cents at $15.84 an ounce, platinum up 7, trading out at 1,136 an ounce, copper up three and a half pennies at 269 a pound, light sweet crude up $1.36, trading out at $57.52 a barrel, bonds. We had the 10 year up seven ticks, 129.02, 30 year up 11 ticks, trading out at 161.26, and king dollar down 668 ticks at 97.47. The euro is up 100 at 108, and the yen is down 37 at 119.54. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is going to be a trip watching this whole thing shake out, folks. The reason being is that what we have is this, is that you have the market sell off slightly into the close. You're coming out with a slew of numbers, bottom line, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Starbucks, as they come out with the numbers, they all traded higher. What didn't trade higher, though, and this is, a, this is going to be wild watching this whole thing shake out, was the NDX 100. The NDX 100, folks, should have got over its highs, and the NDX 100, okay, couldn't handle it, okay? That is a huge number. The NDX 100, folks, 4489 was the number, and this is where you, you just put these babies together, and, uh, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. But uh, when they came out, and I'm talking about Google and uh, Amazon, they were up big. Bottom line, we'll start with the S&Ps. So what did the SPY did? What did the SPY do? SPY gets to a price point today of 210, 211.94. 211.94 almost got into the high of February 25th. We closed at 211.16. Bottom line, 211.16 is a failure at highs. So this is going to be wild watching this whole thing shake out. Uh, specifically, the high volume spike is 211.27. So we get into that with 95 million versus uh, 228 million that failed. Now, let's go to the NDX 100 because that's where the action is after this close out here. NDX 100. What do we do with the NDX 100? Got to a price point today of 109.55. The high is 109. 42, you closed at 109.06, volume was 27 million, not bad volume, but not enough volume. Uh, bottom line, we'll see where this uh, shakes and bakes uh, after the close. Um, so this is going to get really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. Right now you're at 109.38, so that is still popping slightly higher. Uh, now let's just get right over to um, uh, Google first. Google come out with numbers. Google had closed this year. Okay, so Google. We take a look at Google. What you have with Google is this. Google had closed today at 557. It's trading at 566. Uh, it's up about $10. I believe it was up a lot more than that. Numbers on Google go like this. Uh, the estimate was 663. They took in 657. So they took in less money. They missed the estimate. They missed paid clicks. But that, what is that saying? That says there's going to be more pressure on Google. These things are going to be up, down, all over the place. Amazon. We go take a look at Amazon quickly. Amazon, A-M-Z-N. Oh, man, Amazon must have been wild beyond belief because uh, when we were first getting on, Amazon was absolutely up, absolutely up about $20, folks. I think it was up with $30 or $40. Amazon closed at $389. It's trading at $379. Starbucks, S-B-U-X. We take a look at Starbucks. Uh, what did Starbucks do? Starbucks closed at 49. That's trading at uh, 51. Microsoft, MSFT. And 
You know, if you trade in any of these folks, especially inside the NDX 100, what you absolutely want to make sure you do, MSFT, is keep your eye on those NASDAQ futures, because the NASDAQ futures itself was telegraphing that inside um, the markets themselves, the NASDAQ futures couldn't move higher. Microsoft. Microsoft closed at $43.34. That is trading up a dollar. Numbers on Microsoft go like this. The estimate was 20 cents. They made 23. Um, their unearned revenue missed. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, bottom line, um, and we're going to have a lot more come out after this. This is going to be wild watching this whole thing uh, shake out. And no, no two, two ways about that. We go take a look at uh, Pandora. Pandora just come out with numbers. Uh, Pandora closed at $17.71. That's trading at $17.02. Uh, gold contract. We go over to the gold contract, see what's happening with gold. What gold did out here today is this. Gold has went to a lower low, rejected lower price, had light of volume and finished topside. What you're going to see with gold, gold is uh, trading out here right now at a uh, 11.9360. We take a look at that 11.9360. We put that on a daily basis. And what you're going to see is that uh, bottom line, it looks like uh, gold wants to basically run up to the top of this uh, consolidation that's been in. That's 12.24. Clack, KLAC. We take a look at uh, KLA 10 core. KLA 10 core closed at $59.85. That's trading right around the same level. And what we have with Clack is this. Let's see. Well, actually, Clack didn't. Yeah, she, has, she hasn't come out with numbers. I don't see any numbers on Clack. Uh, that had to do with uh, the aspect of uh, TLT. Let's go to the TLT. That had to do with the aspect of uh, how Texas Instruments was trading. So TLT. TLT, folks, is the 20-year bond plus fund. What do we want to look at that for? Well, what we had is this. Yesterday, you had bonds go south, and they went south with volume, okay? That, that bottom line is that they went south, and they went south with uh, some decent volume. Today, inside the TLT, you are basically test testing that, and, you know, the 20 year has to get back inside the 129.13 uh, area. Right now, we're at 128.27. So it's going to have to get back inside that area in order to get juice to get to higher price. Uh, this bond market's going to be a really intriguing watching just how this whole thing is going to shake out. Um, and of course, uh, with the amount of numbers that are coming out here inside the uh, NASDAQ, uh, and particularly the um, Futures. So if we go over to the futures, let me show you something on the futures. Because the futures would basically dictating, this is the NASDAQ futures I'm talking about now. And if you take a look at the NASDAQ futures, what we have is this. The high of the day, this is before the numbers come out too, by the way, uh, was 4489. Bottom line is that when the market, you know, these, these stayed open to 415. Uh, bottom line is that they, it couldn't get to a higher high. So this is going to be interesting to see when we do uh, open back up. I believe it's over 15 right now. It's over 15. Um, as to where this uh, whole baby's going to go. Uh, home away. A-W-A-Y. Let's go take a look at A-W-A-Y. Uh, home away right now. It, that's, let's see where we put this on. 10 minute. Okay. A-W-A-Y. Home away closed at uh, $32.17. That is trading at $27.30. That's getting hit and getting hit hard. Uh, we go take a look at, we put this on a weekly basis. Uh, we pop this up on a weekly basis. And what you'll see is that this, this equity is down from $50. You're trading at $27 right now. Uh, 27 is going to go after this low. Let me, let me look at this again. Yeah, this is really interesting. Um, we take a look at the numbers. This is what we have with the numbers. Uh, Chief Revenue Officer. Uh, the revenue was uh, 124 million, or they expect 122 to 124 million. The cash flow, free cash flow is uh, 45 million. Where is your estimate? Okay, so the estimate was 12 cents, they made 11. Uh, you know, you know, it's intriguing about Home Away, folks. We do a huge amount of business with Home Away. Um, if you're trying to do short-term rentals, Home Away is where it's at. The, the, you, you spend some money there, but bottom line, that's where it's at. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. 
Dow Industrials finished uh, up 20, NASDAQ up 20, S&P's up 6.5. We're going to be right back.